He went from playing baseball at Creighton University to growing a successful business. And in fact, you might have seen his stand open at the College World Series this year. KETV Newswatch 7's Quinicia Frazier shows us how his hobby became a calling. Walk through Baseball Village during the College World Series. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, thank you. And you'll notice young boys wanting to get their hands on a new baseball bat. Ours didn't break. That's what we love to hear, big guy. Let's go. Former Creighton baseball player Ben Reznicek knows firsthand how exciting that can be. When I first started this thing after college, I had a little baby tent actually just on the other side over here. As a high school player in South Dakota, Reznicek says he could only use wooden bats. He says the ones he'd find were either too expensive or broke easily. We were making bats by hand and basically our basement just uh, trying to do what we're doing as a hobby. And Throughout high school and college, Reznicek would instead use the bats he and his dad would carve together. Yeah, it's not just slapping a label on a bat. It's, you gotta, it takes time for proper balance, I mean, proper weight distribution. By the time he graduated college in 2018, Rez Bats got the patent pending and they've been selling their stuff at the College World Series ever since. The home plate is actually at the bottom of it too, so you, you can kind of see two legs, kind of hands extended. Turning a temporary solution into a home run business model. Quinicia Fraser, KETV, Newswatch 7.